right. So what we're going to do is talk about January or sorry, March 10th. March 10th is a pivotal day if you are a 76ers fan. Ben Simmons returns to Philadelphia as a Brooklyn Net to play against his former team, which is the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, the thing with that is, is he actually going to return? You know what I mean? Like, he keeps saying that uh, he's weeks away, weeks away kind of thing. I think he's just trying to avoid Philadelphia because he knows a lot of people are going to... It, Like Stephen A. Smith said, it's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be a nightmare and a half for Ben Simmons when he returns on March 10th. Check it out. The NBA is about to get real, real good. James Harden and the dynamic duo of him and MVP frontrunner Joel Embiid are expected to debut this Friday in Minnesota. That would be tomorrow. Harden has not played since February 2nd. Now the man he was swapped for, Ben Simmons, according to Ramona Shelburne, he's ramping up for return. The last time Simmons was seen was an NBA Eastern Conference semifinals game seven against the Hawks. Simmons' former teammate, Danny Green, had interesting comments about the March 10th Net Sixers showdown. Listen for yourself. Will we shake hands to start? Probably not. First, I'd be highly sh surprised if he even plays in that game. I don't know where his health is mentally, physically, and I don't. we all know that he does not like to play in Philly. But say that does happen, I see it as being a very hectic, playoff-like atmosphere environment um, to where it may be very rough for him. Very, very interesting comments there by Danny Greens. Uh, Stephen A., your reaction? Well, I think that, first of all, I don't think that Danny Green was remotely disrespectful. First of all, if you know anything about Danny Green, he's one of the nicest individuals you'll ever see in professional sports. It doesn't get much nicer than him. He's just a really quality, good person. So, and then you listen to his words. As somebody who worked in Philadelphia for 17 years, I'm here to tell you, it's factual. It's going to be a nightmare for Ben Simmons if Ben Simmons comes there on March 10th to play against the Brooklyn Nets. The city is going to let him have it, okay? And if we're being totally honest... He will have deserved it, not from the players, not from me, not from pundits and commentators, but the fans themselves. Yes, he let them down. He screwed them over. Let's call it what it is. Now, we can sit up there and talk about mental health issues, and we understand how serious that is. And in no way do we want to diminish that, as we've said on numerous occasions. And we always have to make sure to regurgitate that, that point, because there are a lot of people with real mental health issues uh, that are really, really struggling, and we understand that. And that's not to say that Ben Simmons himself is not going through that. But if you listen to teammates, if you listen to people in the city, if you listen to people who cover the NBA, very few people believe them. It's not that they're looking at Ben Simmons and saying Ben Simmons uh, has a problem and we don't care. They don't believe he has a problem. They believe all of this was manufactured because he can't take the heat from Philadelphia. And as a guy that worked in Philadelphia again for 17 years, let me assure you, that is a crime in the eyes of Philadelphia. They are a blue-collar town. They're rife with rough riders. You know adversity is their middle name. It's their signature. It's what they live by in terms of what you have to do to overcome. Why do you think Allen Iverson was loved so much? Yeah, Dr. J was loved because of his class. And Barkley was loved because, you know what, he was very candid and, and loquacious with the things that he had to say. Allen Iverson was a warrior. But all of them could ball and all of them were willing to ball. Ben Simmons didn't want to get out on the court for Philadelphia. And, Janae, I'll get, pass it to you like this. You know what a lot of people really believe is going on here? Ben Simmons has been out since June. His last game was June 20th. June 20th. He's been out all of these months. There's nothing wrong with him physically. And the fact that the trade took place and then, the, not the next game, but the game after that, just the, three days later, he's on the bench smiling with his teammates. He's clearly ready physically to play. It's mental. And you know what everybody believes? Or at least most people believe? 
He is sitting out now for the sole express purpose of having an excuse to avoid having to go to Philadelphia March 10th because he don't want any kind of that heat. And as a, as a person that worked in Philadelphia, I can assure you they're waiting for him and they pray that they'll end up going against Brooklyn in the playoffs because if they believe they have that kind of effect on him while he's playing for the team, now they have no excuse to let up when he's playing for the opposition and he comes to town. They're going to be waiting, and somehow he's going to have to gumption up the nerve to deal with that. Yeah, the hardest part about this, Stephen A., and the only part I caution people on, is while it might seem manufactured, we don't know per se, the actual reality of what is going through Ben Simmons' mind. I've had a chance the last few weeks to speak to a number of players, not players, people and personnel in Ben Simmons' camp, and a lot of the stresses are real that he has dealt with. We're also in this point and period where, yeah, it's not the OG versions of basketball where if an athlete doesn't like their situation, they have to put their head down and just grind through it, come better or worse, come hell or high water. We're at the point of player empowerment. And a lot of times player empowerment, you talk about how the owners don't like it, but we're still in the period where players can find their ways out of situations that they don't want to be in for better or worse of the franchise. That's why James Harden is in Philly and Ben is in, you know, New York now with Brooklyn. Now, that's the oh. only part where I'd say, like, we can't really talk too much to what his experience has been because maybe that environment, he has made the personal choice not oh. to subject himself to that. And that's that's the power that these players have in this period, contrary oh. to what has been before. And, yeah, go ahead, Stephen A. Well, let me caution you about something. First of all, Nobody in our position is questioning the legitimacy of Ben Simmons. We don't know. You're absolutely right. But you know, because of the great job you do covering the league, and you're at enough games, you know people don't believe him. And you know most of them are players. So the very player empowerment that you're talking about, you got a lot of players looking at him with a raised eyebrow in major shade because they're thinking... Nah, number one. And number two, ultimately, what's going to come down the pipe to hurt them because of it? Because, yes, you might be going through these issues. And, yes, you might have had to endure a lot. But you clearly feel a lot better now that you're out of Philly. We could see that. That's number one. And number two, while you were in Philly, not wanting to play, it didn't stop you from pursuing your money, the game checks that they withheld. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. So there you have it, March 10th. You know what I mean? Like, Ben Simmons returns. And if he plays, which I doubt it, because of today's March, February 24th, happy GG and Kobe Day. Um, rest in peace, both of you and the people that lost their lives. The thing with um, Ben Simmons is guaranteed he does not show up because he knows that Philadelphia hates his guts. You know what I mean? Because of all the shenanigans that he pulled trying not to play in Philadelphia, it's a guaranteed he does not want to play in Philadelphia. In fact, he won't even show up to the arena. You know what I mean? It's it's an absolute mess for this guy. And quite frankly, he created himself. And according to Joel Embiid, he, Joel Embiid did whatever he could to get him to stay. And, you know, of course, he's not staying. Of course, he got traded. But at the end of the day, you know, um, I don't think he shows up. I really don't think he, show, he shows up. Tell me what you guys think about this whole situation if Ben Simmons is going to return and what you guys think about what will happen because I find this very interesting he should be days away but apparently he's weeks away he has to go get his medical mental health doctor to show up but uh, we don't know what's going to happen so you tell me is Ben Simmons going to play on March 10th, 2022?
This is Jag Mangit, Jaggy Sports. Hit subscribe, hit like, and hit notification.